Hi, welcome to Seymour's World on Think Tech Hawaii. We have a terrific show today, but I do want to answer all the emails and texts I got what happened with our last show. Well, what happened was quite simple. We didn't have a last show. Uh, I missed the last episode because my son Aaron was getting married. And uh, just to prove that he was getting married, we're going to have some photographs of his wedding. It happened at our house. It was uh, absolutely a wonderful day. Uh, you could see this is our deck, and there's my son Aaron and Ashley, who is now Mrs. Kazimersky. And guess who was the officiating at the wedding? That's me in a tie. Most of you haven't seen me in a tie in a long time. But that was me at the tie, and I was the justice of the peace. It was an, um, just amazing. The weather was magnificent. The ceremony finished, and then uh, the clouds opened up. <laughs> the rain started, and everybody went into the house, and then a double rainbow came over exactly that picture that you see, and everybody ran out to take pictures. So uh, I'm sorry that uh, I did not inform you that we weren't going to have a show, but it was for a very, very good cause. So let's talk about today's show. Today, uh, this is something very, very close to my heart. Uh, kids Hurt to Hawaii. As you know, I'm involved in a program called You Are in Charge. It's a mentoring program for foster kids. And this is under the umbrella of Kids Hurt to Hawaii. And I wanted to bring them on the show because so many new exciting things are happening at Kids Hurt to Hawaii. And who best to describe what's happening is Patria Weston Lee, <laughs> correct? And you are the new executive director. And Hiro Ito, who I've known for, I guess, three or four years, five yeah, years no, maybe. Yeah, five years. Five years mm -hmm. since our show started. Right. And uh, it's, uh, it's, it's really been wonderful because when you first came on the show, uh, we were just beginning the whole You Are In Charge program. That's right, we brought uh, James. Yes, we, exactly. And now the program has, has really taken off very well. And mm -hmm. Kids Hurt too is going through a, a, a wonderful change mm -hmm. with Patria coming on board. So Patria, I'd like you to introduce yourself to our audience and tell us a little bit about who you are, where you came from, and how lucky we are to have you at Kids Hurt to Hawaii. Go ahead. Okay. Well, aloha. I'm Patria, and I'm really... Uh, pleased to be here today and talk about what we're working on. Uh, I first met Hiro and Cynthia. Those are the two who started Kids Hurt to Hawaii about 15 years ago. Mm -hmm. I met them eight years ago uh, when I was working at the time for Consuelo Foundation, which uh, is based in Chinatown, and that's where I've been for the last seven years working for a foundation that partners with the Native Hawaiian community. And through doing that work, uh, I learned about some of the best things happening um, in Hawaii that is being, um, that you would say is healing work in the community. And I was exposed to some uh, incredible programs that cultivate uh, healing relationships with land and with children and families. So when I heard that there was uh, a transition and an opening at Kids Hurt to Hawaii, it was a fit when I um, thought about the work that they do and what they've started and what I'm excited to perpetuate in that role. Patrick, I've seen just, a, it's only a month or two, right, that, yeah. that you're on board as the executive director. Mm -hmm. I've seen tremendous changes already. Uh, Cynthia was a fabulous leader. She yep. did a, an excellent job. Her main focus was in helping grieving children. Uh, children who have lost their parents, who have lost relatives, who have really been lost in this whole uh, social program that we have here. Obviously, our focus is on the homeless in Hawaii. That's what you see on television. But what Kids Hurt to Hawaii has done, and what you are perpetuating, is how do we help the kids? How do we help grieving children? How many are there? How many kids do you work with? Right now, we have evening groups that happen um, throughout the year, and the number of children that come consistently to our groups are about 150 and wow. with their families. And we have different groups on different evenings of the week where we host families and have dinner together and then break into various groups for the caregivers, for the young children, for the youth. And during the, that space of time, um, that's 
us creating a, the conditions for a nurturing space that kids can tell their stories, they can express themselves however they'd like to, uh, they can meet other kids who are going through similar challenges, and they really start to build relationships with other families, and uh, they're able to express themselves maybe not just through talking, but through mm -hmm. art and music and a variety of mentoring activities that Hero and Cynthia have put together over the years that have proved to be really impactful for kids and families. So a typical evening for us is hosting families and making space for um, a variety of kids to come in and feel safe and feel like they can process some really uh, deeply difficult challenges that kids are facing. When they lose a parent to um, foster care system or to divorce or to separation um, because a parent was incarcerated or a parent dies, that's such a um, defining moment in a young child's life. And many children um, need to come away from being isolated. And so we want space where those kids can um, connect and feel like they belong to a, a community who uh, wants to hear their story and understands. And over the years, it's been thousands of children. Mm -hmm. Hero, you've been the program director basically for everything that's From happening. From the beginning, yes. Right, for kids here too. Mm -hmm. And it, it's, it's amazing when I walk upstairs and I see all these kids playing little instruments or mm -hmm. doing all this kind of stuff. It just, it's, it, it makes me realize that these children have been forgotten for a lot of reasons in our social network. Mm -hmm. And Kids Her Too is one of the few organizations that really helps it. Tell mm -hmm. us a little bit about the programming, what you do. Okay, so the Patria talked about uh, already groups in the nighttime. So on the top of the groups, weekend and sometimes weekdays, weekday night, and then we, pro uh, we do that mentoring program. So we work with uh, different organization, like uh, collaborating, you know, Nakamakai, Safrida Spirit Session, and we used to do lion dance, and, you know, I still work with the UH, you know, like uh, uh, Hawaiian, you know, study department, uh, Loi, and we do uh, um, Seas of Love with uh, Dan Kim, our, you know, like uh, uh, board members, and we do quite a lot of events. Ukulele, uh, you know, the practice, ukulele, we participate in ukulele, mm -hmm. you know, um, uh, competition and we have a surf team and you know so we do if children wants you know do something I try to make it happen and then help from the, the uh, people in the community not just in the local community uh, hero just for your edification is very involved in Japan mm -hmm. hero has been uh, one of hero and Cynthia actually mm -hmm. go to Japan together on behalf of kids her too to help those children who have been in, in a grieving situation yeah, because from of the, the earthquake. Uh, 2011 uh, we had a big earthquake in how many kids about uh, I think t about 20,000 people died so uh, we've been going over there and trying to uh, train the local people and we pro provide grief and trauma services and then trying to do the groups for the children who lost, you know, a lot of things. So we just had, uh, we brought them, you know, for the first time this March, uh, last March, and then 44 children, you know, a lot of children, <coughs> 10 of them lost, you know, like both parents and so we, 44 plus local children like uh, Likeke, you know. We're going to uh, meet Likeke yes, in a few minutes. Uh, so about 62, three children, we did a grief and trauma campaign at North Shore, you know, this, you know, last March. So Patria, this is obviously such a necessary part of our community. It's something that we have to do all the time. We have to fund it. How do you fund this? We uh, have a few different sources of funding and we rely completely on donations uh, and grants and also some revenues that's generated um, because Cynthia and Hero are in demand to train about what they've created over the years and their expertise. So that's where our revenue comes from. Uh, the uh, work is um, free. Like, families don't have to pay anything to be involved with the program. Uh, so when we look, when we crunch the numbers, there's probably, um, we could say that one child for a year um, looking at all the different um, pieces that we can offer is about $900 for one child to have access to the, all the activities and the supplies and all those different things that they receive when they are part of the program. 
So we are constantly looking for um, funds. To and we're going to talk about a gala yeah. that you are sponsoring in the second half of the show. Okay. I think one thing that everybody has to understand is this is a, a 24 hour, seven day program for these children. Whenever they are hurt, they can pick up the phone. Mm -hmm. If they're grieving about something, if something is, is affecting them, all they have to do is call and you guys are there for them. And I know Hero, uh, you and Cynthia for, for the last few years, mm -hmm. this is your family. These children, 400, 500, 600, I mean, think of all of them over the years that you have helped. I see it in our foster youth program, which we'll mm -hmm. again talk about in the second half. I see how much these kids need one word space. Mm -hmm. They need to have a space where they can come and feel comfortable, where they're not worried about what whatever is ailing them, whatever they're grieving for, space. Mm -hmm. And you give that to them. I, I see these kids sitting on the floor and playing or drawing or doing things like that. And I realize that they can't do this at home because there's too much turmoil, there's too much commotion, too many things are going on. They need that space. And kids hurt too. With Same space. You. Pardon me? Safe space. A safe space, mm -hmm. yes, yes, I agree. Now, can I introduce uh, Likeke? Are we ready? Oh, look. Okay. Now, which one is Likeke? Go ahead, Likeke, introduce yourself. Hello, my name is Likeke Nakachi Isaacs. I live in Wamanalo. I am going to Wimworth Community College right now, and I've been with Kids Are Two program for about nine years. Mm -hmm. And how old were you when you started? I started when I was nine. I started when I was nine and a half. Yeah. And I just recently came back to help out. And so you're giving back now to the organization that helped you. Yeah. So tell me about it. When you started there, uh, do you mind sharing a little bit about your, your past and your history? Of course. So for me, it was kind of hard because that year was kind of chaotic. Uh, that year, my dad passed away. Uh, I'm dealing with loss of death. That's one of our groups that we have. And that same year, I got diagnosed with leukemia, ALL. Uh, my mom had a really hard time. Uh, my brother, too, he was little at the time. And it's like, he already lost a father, and he didn't want to lose a brother. Wow. And then how did Kids Hurt 2 help you? What was the... How did you fit into their their plans? It was kind of hard because I was going through treatment at that time. I felt very lazy. I had like I had this doll, big doll buddy named mm -hmm. Holly, and it's just I stayed there. I rested, and Hero checked up on me. He was with me like the whole time, and I appreciate that. Thanks, Hero. Yeah. After the opening cycle, children go to the free play, and then uh, the KK just come and uh, under the you know chemotherapies, and sometimes he doesn't have a hair, then he just come to the group slowly, held, and you know, and then what he did was he just lie on the top of the holly doll. He's uh, like a six foot big, you know, uh, the doll, and he just love him so much. So he come to the group every time, you know, instead of you know staying at home resting. And he, what he did was, after the opening circle, he just lie on the top of the holly, then I sit next to him and just talk stories, and that's what he did during that time. I was like, oh, so uh, amazing time. I spent time with you then, you know, he yeah. was my... And now can you, do you feel, the KK, that you could give back to the younger kids who are coming into Kids Hurt too? At the time, I didn't feel like I could, but now I could say I could because Hiro has done a lot for me and S Cynthia, and they did so much for me that it's, I don't, it's, un, it's unspeakable. They do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so the, the KK, hold that thought. We have to go to a break, but I would like to discuss it with you a little bit more because as difficult as it is, it's important for people out there to know how they can make a difference. And you know, we're calling the show, The Difference Starts With You. So you are a messenger. And as a messenger, I want you to tell people why they can make a difference just by doing simple little things like what you're talking about. We're going to take a short break. We'll be back on Seymour's World with Kids Hurt to Hawaii in a minute. Hi, I'm Stephen Philip Katz. I'm a licensed marriage and family therapist here in Hawaii, and I'm the host of Shrink Wrap. 
Hawaii, which is on Tuesdays at 3 o'clock. Have a great summit. Take care of your mental health. Aloha, I'm Chantel Seville, host of the Savvy Chick Show on Think Tech Hawaii. This show is for you. It's all about inspiring and empowering girls of the future to do what they love, get out there and be healthy, fit and confident. If you're up for that, 11 a.m. every Wednesday, I'll see you there. Aloha! How you doing there, lassies and laddies? This is Angus McTech here on Think Tech Hawaii and I have my favorite show, Hibachi Talk with my good old buddies, Gordo the Texada and Andrew the Security Guy. Please join us every Monday. No, it's Friday. Every Friday from 1 p.m. to 1.30 p.m. here on Think Tech Hawaii. And you can also find us on YouTube, Hibachi Talk. Aloha! Hi, welcome back to Seymour's World on Think Tech Hawaii. As you can see from the beginning of the show, how important it is for all of us to give back in whichever way you can. But I have chosen uh, my group called, um, uh, my mentoring group called You Are In Charge because I felt I could help these foster kids who are aging out of the system here in Hawaii and bring them into a mentoring group where I can help them see the light at the end of the tunnel. And it's all because of these three people here that I can do that. Uh, Patria and Hero, who work at Kids Hurt 2 Hawaii, and of course Likeke, who is our, our star today, Likeke. Why? Because you are the one who has been the recipient of what Kids Hurt 2 has been able to do, and now you're going to be also the one who's going to be giving to Kids Hurt 2 by helping others. So we ended uh, the, the, just before the break with you telling us that uh, you want to give back, you want to do something. How are you going to do that? Uh, so right now, tomorrow, we're going to be starting our facilitating trading, and I'm going to be a part of that. Uh, when I came back uh, a couple months ago to help out Hero, I started um, shadowing him in the different groups. He invited me to come to not just the loss of death, mm -hmm. but divorce, loss of separation, the foster, foster children's group. And foster children's group. Support group. And you also you know, participated in a camp, Hokulele, mm -hmm. this March. You see, that is all part of uh, what I believe making a difference is all about. By helping other people, you are going to make a difference. And you know the old adage where if you drop a rock in a lake, what happens? It just spreads like that. That assistance that you give will be the key to helping others as well really important. Mm -hmm. Now, Patria, uh, we talked about money, and money always comes into the picture when it comes to non-for-profit organizations. I and I think that Kids Hurt Too does a wonderful job with helping all these thousands of kids over the years. It's incredible, but so few people know about it. So what is Kids Hurt Too doing about it this December? So our board is wonderful and has taken the lead to plan a fundraiser that's happening on December 4th. Uh, it's going to be a gala event at the Ko'olau Ballrooms uh, on Kaneohe side. And it's going to be 5 p.m. to 9. And there's going to be live entertainment. There's going to be dinner, a silent auction. And this will be a big event that we're hoping will attract a large group of people who want to hear more about the program and understand what we do and then um, hopefully be able to share and give back in that way by attending the fundraiser. Go ahead. I think this fundraiser is a critical issue to help kids or to enact more programs, get more people like Lee Keke to come back and help those kids. Because to me, uh, Lee Keke helping other kids is stronger than you or me helping those kids mm -hmm. because they have a direct re relationship with them. I see it in our foster kids program mm -hmm. where when the kids are talking to each other and they're helping each other, it's very different from me trying to tell the kids how to do something. Right. That, that direct relationship can't be bought. Yeah. It's, it's something that has to happen. Yeah. Go ahead. I was just going to say that healing and all development happens in the context of relationships. So what you just talked about is the magic, I think, of Kids Hurt too. The fact that we um, we want relationships to build and a family-like atmosphere and not feel like it's a transaction. A lot of times in social services and human services, we lose a personal connection and it feels transactional. But we really want to have share a true, genuine life connection with each other and with the kids. So we this photo of surfing, yeah, that's what um, the kick is in the back. happens on some weekends. Oh, the kick that's you on yeah. the back, yeah, four yeah. times a year. 
But that's what you guys do. You give these kids hope. And it's so important for our community to understand that, that, that we have to help organizations such as yours. Mm -hmm. So one of the strengths of the organizations is hope being able to give to all these children, hundreds and hundreds of children, and yet one of the weaknesses is in fundraising. So mm -hmm. I'm gonna put up, if I may, I'll put this up. Can you get a picture of that, Zuri? Okay, wow. and this is our gala fundraiser, December the 4th. You can contact either Patria mm -hmm. or me or Hero, anybody at Kids Hurt Too, if you want to participate. And there's something there about me. I don't know, yes, Patria. Yes, can I, can I yes, say that uh, we're going to be honoring Seymour at the event. Um, it says special recognition of him as a humanitarian and entrepreneur. He's dedicated himself for several years now with Kids Hurt Too and providing um, really incredible connections. You've brought personal connections and professional mm -hmm. connections into what's happening. Uh, you have an individual interest that you take in children and youth and connect them with opportunities. You share generously your time and energy and really want to help um, kids be able to talk about their vision for their lives and then help them take the steps to reach that vision that they see. So, I mean, your few years of service has made a deep and lasting impact Thank on you. Kids Hurt Too. Thank you very much. It, the, the, the whole idea, though, is this is about Kids Hurt Too, not about me. And I, I'm honored and very humbled mm -hmm. to, to be given this award. But I have to say, uh, I get much more pleasure out of working with kids like Likeke and, you know, the kids in the program that we have had. And we're going to meet them at the gala. We also have music at the gala. We have two of our wonderful groups from uh, Make Them Smile. Mm -hmm. Taz Vegas is coming. Oh. Uh, we've got the Hawaiian heavyweights that are coming to play. So we'll have uh, tons. And we also have a silent <laughs> auction. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we have a live auction going on. So it is December the 4th at the um it's Ko the, ballroom. at the koala yeah. ballroom starts at five o'clock yep. uh you can buy tickets or you can buy a table whichever you like just contact kids her too and we'll try to make sure that you guys can get there but it'll be a lot of fun that's for sure now hero and likeke i want to get back to uh more of what you do with the kids hero uh, i know that your japan trips mm -hmm. you have brought into my group these people mm -hmm. from japan who are mm -hmm. learning so you're not only helping the kids, you're teaching others, like the, like the pebble in the ocean, mm -hmm. you're teaching others to be able to do what you do. Yes. Um, so do you want to talk about what sure. we did, you know, the camp and stuff? So at camp, what we did was we, dealt, we had a fun time, of course, with the people who had lost their parents, mm -hmm. more than one parent, at, um, because of the tsunami yeah, that hit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, it, the sound, uh, language barrier was kind of hard to understand. We had one translator in each group. Afterwards, we broke up into our groups. We had five groups, was mm -hmm. it? Five groups, and it equals over the age. Yeah. And then afterwards, we did had our talks, as well as talking about like death, of course. Uh, various activities. Various activities. And some of them had a hard time going near the ocean because mm -hmm. the tsunami. Oh, that's yes. Yeah. Of one, one of the girls, you know, teenager, oh. she cannot even wash her face because after the tsunami for a long time. And so she wouldn't go tsunami. close to the water because the reminder of the ocean, mm -hmm. the tsunami, mm -hmm. was the death of her parents. That's mm -hmm. what she associated right. with it. Yep. Oh my gosh. Yeah, so some children cannot even go. But I saw the two older you know, children just doing a junk and a ball. And then if you lose, get closer to the ocean. Uh, if you so lose, get closer to the ocean. I was wondering what, what they're doing. <laughs> and that's what they are doing, you know? So they figured out a way of yes. doing it. Yep. It's funny how sometimes mm -hmm. the lesson is learned from the student, not mm -hmm. from the teacher. And then the DKK just, uh, you know, he's a so Hawaiian, so he just uh, invite everybody and he welcome. And he was just, uh, like a big, you know, superstar. It's just like an <laughs> amazing <laughs> interaction. And, Jap learn Japanese, but they didn't have to have a learn Japanese, but just some, some, have some like a mm -hmm. deep connection because they all lost somebody in their lifetime, mainly like father figures for you, you know, for them, just some and mothers lost for mothers, other children. And yes. So. Yeah. And so since I was dealing with the older kids, uh, some of them could um, speak a little bit English, but the, still the sound barrier was 
It was kind of hard, but we kind of have a gist of what each other was talking about. We had lots of fun. Mm -hmm. uh, we actually, I think my group had a really emotional like mm -hmm. connection. Yeah, we had a talk story like we do in the kids at too, mm -hmm. in every group. So mm -hmm. you guys did with And the did you give teams. trophies or, or were there prizes? We got uh, uh, you know like a lot of donation from the uh, Hydro Aid, and we made uh, everybody got the Hydro, not Hydro, uh, local you know uh, Hydro Hydro flask. Water Hydro flask. Yeah, Hydro yeah. Flask. And then hydro flask. everybody made a Hydro. Uh, oh, look no, at no. this! Look at this picture. Hero, um, yes, leading oh. up to our recent surf event, yeah. Hero wow. had um, made trophies for all the soul surfers who are participating in the event that day, and the kids were thrilled to have that, um, yeah, receive that gift. Yeah. What you guys are doing is just phenomenal. And I think it's, uh, for me, it's a pleasure to be part of it. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm, I'm thrilled that uh, my program, my mentoring program, is part of Kids Hurt Too, because I see like guys like Lee Keke now can come into our foster mm -hmm. kids program yeah, of course. and help those kids understand you've had your troubles, you've had your problems, mm -hmm. both health problems and, of course, with your dad. And now it's time for you to get them to see the light at the end of the tunnel, too. Mm -hmm. So to all of you, Patria and Hiro and Likeke, I really thank you so much for coming and for helping our audience understand that there, were, there was a lot of kids who need help. Mm -hmm. And Kids Her Too is one of the best venues. If our audience wants to help, mm -hmm. they should help with Kids Her Too. Yeah, a lot of children need support, you know, especially good things about it is the peer support. So uh, little children can support little children, and children can support children, and teens can support each other, and parents can support each other. So that's what's happening, what's happen, happening in a group, group night. Right. And then also mentoring that's programs. That's wonderful. Patria, uh, I wish you the best of luck in your new position. I know I've worked with you for the last month, and it's been fantastic because I love that you push my buttons and, you know, you make sure that I do things that I'm supposed to do. And we had a meeting the other day, the three of us, a very frank meeting about, you know, uh, our, our program mm -hmm. and to make sure that it stays and make sure that we have kids who mm -hmm. are coming and kids who understand. And we all know how beneficial it is for them from the foster youth program. Mm -hmm. But it's um, uh, the the main thing is that uh, our audience will now support Kids Hurt Too and hopefully we'll come to our gala. Hopefully, yes. Hopefully, thank yes. you, Seymour, and everyone who watched this. Thank, thank you. you very much. I thank you, Likeke, Hiro, and Patria. And to you, our audience, I hope you've enjoyed a very, very important message that we have sent you for Kids Hurt Too Hawaii. We'll see you in a couple of weeks. Aloha from Seymour's World.